Hey guys, so in this video I want to show you here my new Boulder Klima smart thermostat. So not only does this thermostat replace the original remote, but you can now also control your air conditioner through the internet. You can limit the temperatures that your air conditioner can be set to. You can create an automated schedule and you can even group all of your air conditioners together so that you can control all of them together with a single button press. So now the easiest way to set up your Klima is with the original uh, remote from your air conditioner. But if you, in case you don't have that anymore, even then you can still uh, configure the Klima so that it will work with your AC. So now let's open up the box and the first thing we do see here is the device itself. And let's take it out of the cradle here and then uh, when we remove the protective layer in the front and you see uh, the display of the front facing surface is like a mirror. It's like literally like a mirror. So this looks really neat. And then here the back side we see here the uh, connections. Uh, also comes with a quick start guide just to uh, uh, show you, help you how to set it up. It's also available online. It shows you all the parts that come with it. Then next we find here in the middle box the uh, power supply. And this one is very uh, utile because you can use it basically in all regions of the world. So it comes with these uh, different adapters. It comes with four different adap adapters. The British one, European one, American one. And then so you choose the one that you use for your area. In my case here I have the US plug. And all you have to do is just align it right with the power supply. Give it a little twist and we'll click in position. Now you can... Uh, plug it into your outlet. When you take a look at the side and you can see this is just a regular USB-C power supply. So uh, yeah, if you don't want to use this power supply, then you can just plug it into any other one that you already have. And then here we can see there's also here the uh, power cord. On the one end has USB-C and then here is this magnetic connector. So I really like this because just in case somebody may pull on the Klima then the magnets will just disengage and nothing will break. So then the next part here is the wall mounting plate. You can see this can be mounted with the two uh, adhesive strips. And then on the front, you have this little level here, this little air bubble you can see on the top. So this will help you to install your cleaner device uh, really exactly horizontally on the wall if you want to do that. So you see the little bubble here as it moves. So when the bubble's in the center, then that means that you're going to mount your Klima exactly level. Now then, in addition, I also got here this Klima dock. And instead of wall mounting the device, this allows you to just place it right on your desk and always have it uh, right in view. So you can see you can pull the uh, power cord here from the bottom, from the bottom towards the front. And then you can uh, mount it just like that. So now one comment that I do have is that this top part here does not swivel, so you cannot adjust it in any way. Now I wish you would be able to move this back and forth just a little bit, so in case you do have some reflections uh, from your device here that you can adjust it and uh, get rid of those reflections. Setup is super easy, all we have to do is pull the power cord through the hole here and then snap it in place here on the bottom and then just plug the Klima right onto it and it will start up in literally like two seconds so this was already this was already a startup like a cold start so I'm really impressed about the startup time here I don't believe that your device comes with a built-in battery but you really don't have to worry about that because if you don't have power for your Klima then you also don't have power to run your air conditioner anyway Okay, so then let's install the Boulder Energy app, which is available for Android and iPhone, of course. You won't get around creating a Boulder account, but this is really easy by using Apple or Google. And then eventually we will get to the step to register our device here. So there's a QR code on the back of your device, but also you'll find a little sticker inside of your instructions menu. So I do suggest to use that. Then we're going to connect the device to our Wi-Fi network, so make sure you know your Wi-Fi password. And then it is going to take you through a wizard where it will discover what kind of air conditioning unit you have. 
And all you have to do is just point your remote control at the device and press the power button two times. So that's really all you have to do to set uh, up your specific air conditioning unit. So at this point, you of course have all of the features that your original uh, remote control offers also on the uh, smartphone app. But in addition to that, we have here the monitor function, which allows us to check how much our uh, air conditioning was running, what the, what the humidity levels were. And then one feature that I'm really excited about is here, this temperature range lock. So in case you do have uh, children, for example, in your household, that do tend to crank down the temperature to ranges where your electricity bill is just exploding, uh, then you can limit the uh, temperature range that they will be allowed to set um, on the app as well as on the uh, unit that is located in the room. So for example, here I'm going to set the minimum temperature, the lowest temperature that can be set to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. In case you do use your uh, split air conditioner for heating as well, then uh, you can set this here as well. Then we have here the automation function, which allows us to enable or turn on the unit and turn off the unit on a, based on the schedule or based on events. So, for example, uh, when somebody is coming home, was on the way home, or is going to is leaving the house, then you can automatically turn the air conditioner on and off. Then it's possible to integrate the uh, Klima to Alexa and Google or Google Home, and eventually also here to HomeKit. And when we take a look at the Klima device itself, then you of course have here the options or pretty much all of the options that you have with your original remote. So you don't need the original remote anymore. You can set the temperature, you can uh, set the fan speed or the general remote that the uh, device is in, a heating mode, cooling mode or uh, automatic. And then of course you can also here set the uh, swivel function. And as I mentioned before, when you do have the uh, temperature range limit set, just like in my case here is nothing lower than 73 Fahrenheit, then you won't be able to adjust the temperature any lower uh, from this unit. Okay, so that was already it here about this Boulder Klima Smart Thermostat. Hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below.